The CDC facing pressure to ease its mask guidelines as more states roll back restrictions. Griff Jenkins has more. The battle over mask mandates continues to unfold across the country. A growing number of Democratic governors are lifting restrictions. New Jersey, Rhode Island and Connecticut will roll back statewide mask requirements in the coming weeks. But so far, the CDC is resisting calls to change its own guidelines. We are assessing the most important factors based on where we are in the pandemic and will soon put guidance in place that is relevant. The CDC currently recommends people wear masks indoors in areas with high transmission rates. According to the agency's data, that's nearly every county in the U.S., but some medical experts argue it's time to move forward as new infections and hospitalizations continue their decline. We're getting to a point now where the disease is beginning to behave uh, as an endemic disease. What that means is it's kind of part of the landscape, the same way influenza is every year. As the Omicron surge subsides, a University of Washington model indicates more than 70 percent of Americans are, for now, immune to the variant. That could rise to 80 percent in the middle of March. But doctors say Omicron's impact on hospitals could last for a while. We have had such a significant staff shortage during the pandemic. It's going to take a really long time for us to work our way out of it. Dr. Anthony Fauci says the CDC will continue to modify its recommendations as infections decline, but added kids in school should continue wearing masks for now. At the White House, Griff Jenkins, Fox News.